Hi Aries, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading for May 2021. We will be doing the horoscope spread where we combine uh, a little bit of astrology and tarot together for you guys. So you may get a message here regarding your finances, your career, your money, your um, romance house, your partnership, love and so on. A little bit of everything. So what's going on with Aries, please? Aries Sun Moon Rising for May 2021. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below. In the extended, I'll just clarify a little bit more and go a little bit deeper. All right, what does Aries need to know, please? The sun wanted to come here, so that's good news. One more. All right, we do have the emperor, Aries energy. Let's see what's going on. And the Queen of Swords. I feel like someone very much firmly standing here making a decision. Okay, the Hermit. Finding the pathway. A lot of inner reflection. Uh, the Hermit and the Queen of Swords together gives me a vibe of someone with a lot of wisdom. Like someone that has found their uh, answer. But also very mercurial. Someone that thinks a lot when it comes to uh, inner reflection and what they need to do. We will see. All right. You look very nice with that nine of pentacles in the first house. There, the sun again in the second house, the house of values, money, and possessions. The seven of pentacles. Wow. The empress energy, and it is under the emperor. This is beautiful. The four of cups in the fifth house. The page of pentacles in the sixth. What's going on here? We have the four of cups and the five of cups regarding a relationship. The King of Wands in the eighth, the Queen of Wands. Okay, we do. I keep getting two people here that are very passionate towards each other. The King of Swords, which is the opposite uh, again of that Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords behind the scenes. Okay, the Six of Wands. It's like overall you you're looking at this victory, recognition, success, something that you want to build. You want to to have here very much this um, this power. This is also someone that has achieved many things because always the emperor comes as the conqueror. And with the six of wands, someone that is trying to achieve, uh, you know, when it comes to their highest potential recognition. Very powerful, but the overall, that's the message that you're trying for, uh, for May. You or someone else, someone of authority. You're coming off as very independent, um, Aries. I have to tell you, when it comes to love, that is something that you're holding on to. But overall, I feel like the overall situation is you focusing on yourself. You seem independent, self-sufficient financially here. Things are coming. Some of you with the Page of Pentacles and the Sun here, maybe getting some type of uh, salary increase, or you might find the way here that makes you very happy of what you need to do. Uh, because the Nine of Pentacles is a person that has achieved many as work, this may be that what you're trying to achieve if you don't achieve it. But you look very good and very independent and self-sufficient and well-off. Almost because you have the Nine of Pentacles, which sometimes is considered the pre-empress, and you have the empress in the fourth house. For some of you, you have created your home, your establishment. It may be that some of you are buying a home here as well. But these two together... It, it makes me feel like you have achieved that luxury or self-sufficiency. For the one that are almost close there, May is kind of going to give you that success uh, going on or a potential here towards a success. But you're coming off very that a little bit, not that you don't need anybody, but that you are well here on your own. I'm not saying that you don't need anybody because in the five, in the house opposite you, which the first house belongs to you, by the way, and the seventh house, it's Libra. That's your opposite sign. We have someone that is holding on to regrets. It does not have to be you. This may be a person that you are dealing with. There's someone that is holding on to loss, to regret. You still, with the Four of Cups in your romantic uh, house, you're thinking, you're contemplating regarding someone here. For some of you, it may be someone from the past. It may be that you feel a certain satisfaction when it comes to love, when it comes to dating. I'd, for some of you here, I don't... The Four of Cups doesn't tell me, oh, let's go, you know, and I just want to date right away for the ones that have gone through some type of um, 
heartbreak or painful situation. It's just, just someone that is considering. Uh, I don't know if you feel like, oh, am I settling? Oh, should I settle with the Four of Cups? But is that contemplation? I feel like it's very much attached to the Five of Cups here, which is the partnership house and the romantic house. Like these two go hand in hand together. There's someone that is holding on still, you know, to that cup, to that memory or to that kind of, a, is this over? Emotional discontentment and the five of cups is still thinking about what was lost there's still chances here but someone is holding on to that regret now financially you are very abundant here with the sun in the second house you might find happy news here coming uh even not just to your financial to your material wealth wealth to your security to your well-being you look happy it's a major arcana so again it's kind of contributing to that self-sufficient independent well-off personality that you have for um, May. Also, what, what is coming here in the third house, which is what surrounds you, your thinking, communication, short traveling, you have this, you're waiting for rewards, you have this attitude that I'm still going to work hard, but I'm whatever I put my work to, first of all, you're looking very patient with the, the seven of pentacles, very much putting things to that are valuable to you, uh, investing what you think that you are going to get the rewards that you de deserve. So still patiently working, but again, you are to the point of that self-sufficiency. Your mind is very um, stable, secure, and kind of looking at choosing wisely what you do you need to do next. For some of you, you are waiting with this and looking at how much you have to invest uh, continuously here. At home, nurturing, motherhood here. It may be you, it may be someone that you're connecting with. Uh, emotionally, you are going to feel very abundant as well, very nurturing. You might find someone is also very nurturing towards you. But there's this unconditional love here going on. There's this abundance. You might be feeling like you want to pamper yourself, take care of yourself. Again, for some of you, does this does mean pregnancy as well, since it's coming in the fourth house. Putting roots down. Uh, that's what I feel like with the fourth house, which, you know, there's a square here between Aries and Cancer, but I, I feel like overall it's nice. You're going to look nice at home. You're going to feel like uh, you are taking care of your home, abundant values in that area, emotional too. As I mentioned, romantically, someone here is considering, contemplating their still feelings, but there's a lot of discontentment and settling and it's just contemplating that, that feeling that someone had for, for a person. That's what I see here. Uh, when it comes to your day-to-day -day routine, your work, your habits, you might be receiving some type of salary increase. You might be learning a new mastery, a new skill. You might be uh, very much in your habits, nothing here quick. You're not going to rush in, but you look very secure. You look like you're learning new ways or you're practicing new ways. You might get some financial news here that are coming towards you very abundantly. So that's very nice as well. Uh, partnership house, as I mentioned, someone is still holding to the loss of a, a person that was very important in this case. That's what's coming with that Libra house, with the seventh house. The, the loss of a, of a loved one or the loss here. We're talking about partnership. Um, that you felt, again, you had a connection. They may be feeling towards you there as well. Uh, if you're asking, is my person here? If you're contemplating, they feel like they lost you in this case. Now, this King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, whichever is watching here, whichever you relate to, it, I feel like, again, when I look at the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands together, I know that there are two people that are so passionate together, but these two, though very they are very much in the social media or not shy about their feelings. They can be very much a little bit my way or the highway with these two. Uh, the passionate towards each other is right there. Now, the King of Wands is coming in the eighth house. So this King of Wands is coming as very intense because this is a Scorpio house. If this is you, there's someone here, especially look at this, they are looking together. There is someone that you feel very, very passionate. If this is your person, you know, you know how to please reverse it to the roles that you're watching here. But uh, we're talking about the Scorpionic house here. We're talking about intimate matters, um, 
intimacy, uh, that soul-to-soul connection. This may be what the Four of Cups is thinking. Is that still that passion? Uh, how do I go? Like, I feel it's it's a secretive house above all, you know? It's not something that is out open as much as is the 10th house. So whatever this intimate matter, it may be very much behind closed doors or someone is not revealing much, but it feels the intensity. It feels the passion. It feels like the transformation. That's what the King of Wands is going on. Whoever this person is in your life. For you, if you don't know this person, you are going to meet this person then. Or this may be you, as I mentioned. The Queen of Wands is looking at this King of Wands very passionately. And it is in the ninth house. So we may be dealing with someone that is long distance or someone here that you share a lot of belief. It may be that both of you are in this situation of foreigners, uh, uh, you know, different countries uh, from each other, or there's a distance here between one another. But I feel like since they are coming one after the other, are two people here that feel the intense connection, but may, may be a little bit here of a distance together. Some of you also may find that you are passionate regarding, you know, traveling, relocating, or uh, you might find a person here that matches your energy long distance from you with that queen of wands the ninth house also speaks here of higher education so some of you may feeling very passionate guiding here other people now the king of swords is coming in the 10th house this is very public house reputation here career this may be you when it comes to making a decision here that has to do with your image or this may be an advisor here that helps you in this case um, in the 10th house it may be the page of pentacles here whatever that offer is that the king of swords is thinking analytically here. What do I need to do? How do I come forward? This is a person that is concerned when it comes um, to their communication or decision making. We have, uh, you know, these court cards one after the other. So career wise, I don't feel like the king of swords is someone, whoever this is that worries you, because as I mentioned, financially, you look very much confident and optimistic and you are getting here an offer so the king of swords is thinking the best decision here it may be someone that you meet here someone of authority now i have to tell you the page of swords right away in the 11th house tells me that there's some type of social media stalking for it may be you towards the person then towards you if it is not you you'll know it may be that you might get some type of um news or some type of messages here from uh you know from a uh, social media from a friend uh it may be that you're researching here there's some type of news researching curiosity here that is going with networking social media groups uh, again it can be a little bit of watching keeping an eye keeping tabs here on someone wanting to know more wanting to research um again i feel like with the emperor the six of ones though whatever it is you are very much in your own power you're you're a person that is used to having um you know a firm hand on whatever you want to accomplish. Look at this. The emperor is holding here, you know, the world it has that power. And it is with someone that has has an attachment to their name when it comes to the six of wands uh, of, I, I need my image here to look good. I need my status to, to look good. Or I need to reach the status here to have this confidence. Power. I, I feel like what I, it comes with these two power and control in a situation to be independent or to have that success. I'm, I'm getting a lot of that energy and again because you're looking so independent what is happening with this ten of swords 12 house now this house though it's it this house has good things and bad things in a way the 12 house we're dealing with the unknown we're dealing with the subconscious we're dealing here with hidden aspect hidden pleasure hidden enemies and the ten of swords i feel like it's you feeling all this pain Unless it's someone here that is feeling this towards you, they're going through all this obsessive thinking, uh, worries to the point again of their limit. It is very subconscious. It's something no one sees. If this is you, you are, as I mentioned here, you're looking, what the, the behavior or the image that you're putting is that you look well put and well off. But because I know that there's someone here that is going through loss and regret, I feel like it's nightmare. It's like because in the 12th house, we can find nightmarish um, energies as well. Uh, with this 12th house and sometimes the 8th house as well. So I, I feel like there's someone that is continuously thinking, overthinking. Is this the end? Timing being off. I cannot stop my thoughts here. Um, especially negative thinking or things that, you know, has, has hurt someone in the 12th house. I'm getting a lot of uh, obsessive thinking, um, 
nightmarish hurt but it's because someone is in love i feel like with a person here that they don't have remember the king of wands as i said is very intense very passionate and um, though they're holding back here that's what you need to know here if this is not true this may be the person that is your your person that is going through a lot uh, when it comes to that uh, ten of swords that's the only thing here that feels and the five of cups that feels a little bit very sad uh i feel like someone here wants to be with a person that they cannot have right now um or in this situation worry regarding this movement and it's you have the empress here so i feel like that is and the king of wands that is a connection a beautiful connection but there's something behind the scenes that someone is very worried um and because of all these thoughts that they're thinking and the negativity of it and the timing um i hope this resonates with you guys in uh I'm going to start here one by one, starting from the first house and go through uh, Aries, through Pisces individually and give you a message for each sign. So if you're dealing with another Aries, right now you guys are at the stage of non-committal. It's very much independent. Two people that want to be together, there may be someone that needs to be free, available. If you're dealing with another Aries, someone may not be um, free or someone is focusing mostly on, on, on themselves self-sufficiency if you're dealing with the taurus there's happiness joy and very much here even kind of you know um looking at you as the light as their happiness so very very much good news when it comes to you and taurus being happily ever after together or having that joy which with one another with you and gemini there's a waiting game they want to invest they are waiting seeing how things are going to progress you and cancer have unconditional love. This is a type of love that, you know, feels like forever. Like you are my person. You are the whole world. You are what, you know, fulfills my my every being here, my heart. So it's very beautiful between you and Cancer. With you and Leo, you guys are waiting there for each other, not doing much. They're, they're contemplating. They're not sure if there's still a chance or, uh, you know, th this thing passed. It's just someone that is like, walling in here in their feelings and feeling sad for themselves it's like not much happening though just that um you and virgo someone here wants to send a message so it may be you or them but i feel like there's some type of messages going on between the two of you you and libra are holding especially libra is holding a, a loss here towards you a regret missing you feeling sad looking at what happened between the two of you you and scorpio are on fire they have a lot of passion towards you they want you that's that's what i will say with the king of wands they want you they're, they're passionate they want to win you over uh you and sagittarius a lot of attractiveness a lot of um, emotions passionate emotions here it's a queen after all energy but we're talking about attractiveness and uh desires uh with you and capricorn it looks like they're staying detached they have to make a decision here pure logical decision they're thinking of you but i feel like they're trying to think logically what to do you and aquarius they may be watching you stalking you a little bit there will be some messages between the two of you and if you're dealing with the pisces they feel painful ending obsessive thinking it's like they're going through a lot uh psychologically a lot uh of betrayal hurts uh and very much here thinking that the the worst is uh has come and they may feel like it's over between the two of you i really hope this resonates with you aries in the extended i will clarify just one more time what's going on here thank you bye-bye